With the trashy UK weather being so unpredictable at the moment, I haven't been able to get out there to film anything, so to tide you over until I can, thought I'd run you through my current collection of car cleaning tools and products from the relative comfort of my computer desk. So jumping straight in then, as this vid is going to be relatively short and sweet, we have a few different types of wash bucket. Now I still use my discontinued old stackable Meguiar's items in conjunction with a collapsible Swiss Vax jobby when out and about, as anything bigger won't go in my boot. But I do now have a few proper yank sized units to use from home, courtesy of Turtle Wax and Auto Bright Direct. And one of the big benefits of these, assuming you have a lid to seal them with, is that they can also be used to store or transport some of your detailing gear. A novel buchanizer serves to keep brushes and wheel mitts to hand and stops me from having to blindly swill around in the suds. And while I'll mention the smaller brush types in a while, in terms of larger ones, I generally make sure I have an easy detail brush, microfiber madness incredit brush, wheel woolly and generic skinny wool type item to hand for cleaning the barrels of wheels and to tend to areas like soft tops, wheel arches, tyres and engine bays. Also keep a long reacher from mothers, an easy go brush and a few sturdy Viking items to hand. Moving on to heavy hardware then, we have my 8 year old Kranzel K7 pressure washer, which is a bit battered and bruised but still works like new. The latest auto shut off version would of course be nice, but it's a lot to spend just to eliminate what little noise this older model makes, so I'm not in any huge rush to upgrade, especially now I have a quick release stubby gun courtesy of Auto Bright Direct to use with it. To take advantage of the Kranzel's constant pressure and create some nice thick suds, I have a heavy duty Snow Firm Lancer 3, again from Auto Bright Direct, which you can see the evolution of here from the old school top heavy screw type to the new better balanced dedicated quick disconnect item. A small 1.5 litre chemical resistant Quasar pressure sprayer that's used in conjunction with products like Valap Pro Citrus Pre-Wash or Built Amber Surf XHD is kept to hand. And while I could ideally do with another few for things like fallout remover or wheel cleaner, I have pretty sturdy trigger fingers for the application of those. But there is always the larger 6 litre jobby in the shed, however it's usually covered in spiders so don't bother with it much these days. To help blow dry nooks and crannies after washing, I have a compact Metro Sidekick. And while I know there's bigger, better cordless options out there, don't currently have the space to carry something even remotely leaf blower sized. So a compact unit like this that still churns out a decent amount of warm filtered air suits me fine. One thing I certainly couldn't do without is my main Ox detailing bag that's been carrying my bulk cleaning products as well as a handful of other bits for quite a few years now. The 8 trigger sprays it can comfortably house contain staple bulk cleaning chemicals from the likes of Auto Smart and Valet Pro, while the other generic bottles are filled with snow foam from Auto Finesse or Auto Bright Direct, trade shampoo from Auto Smart or Car Chem, and corrosion inhibitor from Built Hamber. The bag is also used to house and transport an assortment of detailed brushes ranging from generic Amazon and eBay items to softer detail factory and auto bright direct ones. There's also Meguiar's slide lock and triple duty detail brushes present, some spare pressure washer nozzles and a handful of hose fittings to ensure I've got everything covered when connecting to unfamiliar outside taps, and a few other generic bits and bobs that you can feel free to quiz me about in the comments. In addition to the main one, I also carry a more compact boutique bag to store a few upscale cleaning chemicals from the likes of Auto Finesse, Dodo Juice and Auto Bright Direct, which are swapped out with various other products from the spares and repairs cupboard depending on the jobs at hand and what currently tickles my fancy. A larger over the shoulder bag from Flex carries the polishes I use for single stage enhancement work, which is mostly repped by Menzerna, but there's also other old school products that still work well and some newer consumer type ones to feature or test out too. A select assortment of easy to use waxes and protectants that I can safely apply outside also reside in there including staple classics like Supernatural, Fuso Coat and Insulator Wax, but there's also some more modern silicon dioxide and graphene infused sprays to play about with as well. 
Don't ask me how it all fits in, but a handful of dedicated leather and interior cleaning products from brands I've mentioned already, as well as from a few others like Nanolex and Dr. Leather, are also crammed in with the polishes and protectants, as is some other miscellaneous paraphernalia, including gloves, tape, a hairdryer, a hose gun, and some wooden skewers, which I'll let you figure out their purpose for yourself. I use a worn but well-built mains-operated Flex Direct Drive Orbital Machine to revive paintwork, which does ideally need upgrading, but much like the old Kranzel pressure washer, is still very much up to the job. Plus, its interchangeable backing plates means I can simultaneously tend to smaller areas without the need for a separate medium-sized machine. I have recently acquired a small cordless micro polisher from Autobright Direct, so I at least now have the option to breathe some life back into the even smaller, more intricate areas of a car, should I have the time. Contained within a second canvas flex bag are enough microfiber towels, mitts, pads and applicators to see me through a few cars worth of washing, polishing, waxing and general purpose cleaning. So located at the top freeze of access are a few drying towels, usually from the likes of Auto Bright Direct, Dodo Juice, Auto Finesse or even just Amazon, as well as a few wool and microfiber wash mitts to safely do the swirl free dirty. Underneath those are a handful of dedicated buffing towels from CarPro, Euro and a few others for use on freshly prepped paintwork. Some general purpose towels are magic erasers for tending to interiors and other areas where plush buffing towels aren't necessary, and a compact collection of polishing pads and applicators which, like the towels and mitts, are washed in the machine after use, while previously cleaned ones from the spares and repairs cupboard are used for replenishment. To suck the detritus from people's neglected inner sanctums, I carry a compact pneumatic Henry who, despite only being small, is still capable of drawing out loose dirt for hours on end. He's almost exclusively used in conjunction with genuine pneumatic crevice tool and dusting brush attachments, but super soft brushes like the ones shown earlier can also be deployed to gently dust off delicate surfaces. While I prefer the more robust feeling of vacuuming with the stainless metal wand, carry the short plastic tube for use when working in more confined cockpits like my own. In addition to the dry vac, I also have a dedicated wet one to take care of any unsightly stains and untimely spillages. So like Henry, the Bissell Spot Clean Pro, which looks more like a prop from an alien film than a piece of cleaning equipment, is only small but is still up to the job and currently utilises the concentrated Bissell formula that came with the unit, but once that's gone we'll likely have some trade based brisk extra from AutoSmart pumped through its veins instead. And that's pretty much everything, or at least everything I carry in a mobile manner, as I can't transport it all and wouldn't need to anyway, uh, so just mix and match to suit the jobs at hand. Granted, it's far from all the gear, but I'd like to think I have a fair amount of the idea, so can usually work around the bits I might be missing with minimal effect. So if you want clarification on anything shown, feel free to ask, but do check out the description first as the vast majority of it should be linked or at least listed in order of appearance there. So as always, cheers for watching. Apologies for the uh, lack of actual car cleaning content, but I promise I'll definitely be back with some of that next time.